Hello everybody, welcome back to the workshop. So in this video, we are going to be making a Christmas tree bottle opener. Now this is a great little stocking stuffer, uh, gift ideal that you can do. Uh, it's a great little seller if you want to take and sell some of your ironwork. And if you're interested in that, Jessica and I have, again, we have created a list of 10 uh, hand forged Christmas gifts that you guys can uh, make to sell with complete cost breakdowns of how much time and labor and and uh, uh, cost of material and whatnot that's down there. Also, as an added benefit in this uh, ebook that we've created, I've also included a template to this very little Christmas tree here. For those of you that don't want to go that route and you just want to cut one out yourself, you can Google any image of a Christmas tree like ever and just go from there. Now, size-wise. For this bottle opener, we are doing five inches long or 125 millimeters, and it was two inches wide or 50 millimeters wide before you cut out all the different stuff. So that was starting stock size, and the material thickness is eighth of an inch thick or 3.5 mil. So hopefully that'll help some of you out there get started. Our first m mission here is to take and punch a hole in this. Now, we're not gonna slot punch a hole. We are going to punch a round hole. And then we are going to continue to drift that round hole with this very large, say, uh, 3 8 well, it goes up to about 5 8 inch around diameter, uh, you know, round punch. Now, if you don't have a round punch that goes up this much, you can taper out a small bar and make yourself a drift. It's just easier to use the punch all in one go, and it saves just the right amount of material all the way around the piece. So again, those of you that would like to take and uh, go over to the website and pick up the ebook for this, it is titled Guide to 10 Hand Forged Christmas Gifts, and you can find it over at our website, blacksmithpdfs.com. So without further ado, let's get this thing hot. So now that we have that punched and drifted, we are going to go to the very bottom end of that. If you notice, I didn't round that out. We are going to go to the very bottom end of that, and we're going to take and put our punch right on the edge, 
and we're gonna start pulling down a tab. Now, you can use a rounded punch if you want, a little ball fuller. I personally like using a flat bottom punch for doing this operation for bottle openers. Uh, I find that it, it pulls out a much crisper little pull tab there uh, to be able to open up bottles. But again, do what you like on that. So now we're just gonna keep working that down flat to the anvil. If you're not comfortable with your abilities of getting this flat to the anvil and things like that without damaging your anvil, by all means put down a cutoff plate. Now would be a good time for that. So after that's all done, we're gonna let that cool just for a second. And now it's time to take and go ahead and do the decoration. Now you can leave this pretty plain. It kind of just depends on your styling. I will texture the leaves themselves uh, with a hand hammer first and foremost, and then we will go on to adding uh, some ornamentation to it to make it look like a real live Christmas tree. So again, let this end cool down a little bit and then do your best to try to not to get this end hot anymore. Once it's cooled down, try not to get it hot again. So now that we have that done, now we're going to give this a little bit of shape. We want the decoration to go down, and I'm just going to use the step of the anvil this time and the cross beam. You may have a step on your anvil to just give this thing a little bit of curve, just to kind of curve some of them sharp branches down, some of them sharp corners down, and to just give this tree a little bit of standoffness there. Again, this is going to be held in the palm like this and pressed down. And uh, you know you might want to take off any sharp edges uh, at the sander once you start cleaning things up a bit. So that's all I'll do there for that. That'll give us a little bit of shape into this Christmas tree bottle opener. Get her good and brushed up. 
and you can coat this a whole host of different ways. Uh, depends on what type of finish you're doing, if you're cleaning it up, if you're doing paint, things like that. Uh, you may have to paint it or something of that nature. I like to use a natural finish on anything that goes in the hand, like a coconut oil finish or a vegetable oil finish on these, just kind of darken them down. Maybe do a little brass brush highlighting, that sort of thing. So what I will do is I'll heat this back up and if you'll excuse me for a second, I'll grab this Johnson Paste Wax over here. I keep calling it Johnson Paste Wax, it's not, it's Min Wax Paste Wax. Grab this, and the towel. Hold on, hold on. Back in the scene. That's what I'm using. It puts off a really nice black coat, a finish. As with all finishes, you want to be careful, wear a respirator if you can, be, be in a really well ventilated area, yada yada, follow the directions on the can, and adhere to their best safety practices. Uh, it's your lungs and you only get one pair, so, unless you want to be on a waiting list or something, and that never works out for anybody. So that piece should be fairly warm now, I'm going to set this paste wax off to one side. Again, remember to put your touch mark into it if you haven't done that yet. I'm going to go ahead and do that now while I'm thinking about it. Grab this out. It's just warm enough. It should take a pretty nice touch mark on it. There you go. I do it from the underside. That way it's out of sight, out of mind. Except for those that are the most observant. While this is being nice and warm, we're going to take the opportunity to brush that bottle in a little bit more. And we're almost ready for the wax. So you just rub the wax on like any other type of oiled on finish. And it should darken the steel out slightly, pretty nicely. Again, don't do like I'm doing in this video. This is for video purposes be in a well ventilated area. Usually I would do something like this outside. That would be the preferred method. And we'll cool this down ever so slightly in the slack real quick. Just to drop it a few degrees. Let that moisture drive off the piece. Is it still warm? And then go ahead and rub on this finish some more. And you'll see it take to it. And it puts on a really nice sheen. Again, anything being handled in the hand, it's nice if you can go with natural finishes. It makes it feel a little less plasticky. So do that, just like so. And there you have it one Christmas tree bottle opener. Well, I really hope you all enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. Uh, be sure to check out our website again at blacksmithpdfs.com. If you'd like to take and get the template for this, the free template is included in the uh, paid download, the e-course uh, on the guide to 10 hand forged Christmas gifts. And you know, you can check that out at the, in the link in the description. Uh, so without further ado, hopefully you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and be sure to check out some of the other videos that will be in this playlist uh, around Christmas gifts. We've got a playlist on Christmas gifts specifically. That'll be, the link to that'll be in the description. And you know, go check that out. Look over, look over it once or twice and See if it can take and help you out this Christmas, figure out those much needed Christmas presents for those around you. Without further ado, God bless you all, and we will catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.